Hi students, a very pleasant and warm greetings to you all. Hope you are doing good. Last session we have started to learn about HTML, right? What is HTML? Hypertext Markup Language, right? We have learned the basics about HTML, right? We have seen what is HTML and we have seen about writing the HTML document, HTML documents structure. We have seen about HTML tag, head tag, title tag, body tag, right? So we know the structural tags of HTML, right? And we have started to learn about editing, reloading the source files, viewing the web page, and about creating a web page and all, right? And we, we saw about the HTML attributes, that is DIR and LANG, right? And today we are going to see about attributes of body tag, right? Body tag means it defines the document's body, right? The contents of the HTML page will be within the body tag only, right? This has many attributes. The first one is background color. The attribute for that is BG color is equal to color, right? That is the background color. By default, if you see all the browsers will display the text on a white background only, right? Uh, if you want to change that white color and if you want some other color, you can use this BG color tag, right? To tag, um, this tag is used to change the background color, right? How will you use this tag? This one you have to use inside body tag. So this is the attribute of body tag, right? So if you are using this BG color, you have to use, you have to open the body tag first. Inside the body tag, you will use BG color equal to color name you will give. Color name and hyphen or you will give the color code. Color code will be there or color you can give the color's name also directly. Here they have given it. An example for that, first you will open the HTML tag and then head tag and then title tag and then you will close the title tag, close the head tag and then you will open the body tag, right? While opening the body tag itself, if you need background color, you have to give BG color is equal to whatever color you need, you have to give. If you need red, you can give red. If you need blue, you can give blue. Here they have given yellow, right? So this is my browser with different colors like that one text they have given so that text will be displayed in the browser right and then body tag is closed and then the html tag is also closed right so here the output output will be the internet explorer will display the output like this with yellow background and the text which you have given will be displayed on that yellow background right the six here we have some color codes also right you can give the color name also this can be used for only few colors right but this color code will be there it will have a hexadecimal value this will be for more flexible colors right many colors can be added using this color codes right here the six digit hexadecimal value is the combination of three two uh, maybe a three digit number or maybe a two digit number sequence which represent a color okay first two digits will be represented with red and the next two digits for green and at last the last two digits for blue that is rgb rgb is red green blue you know right rgb is the color code and this first two digit will represent the red color next two digit will represent green color and last two digits will represent blue color right in this a range of a zero zero that is uh, for f f for example if you say if it is a black it will be zero 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 right and if it is white it will be f f f f f f f like that right if it is a bright red it will be f f zero 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 right uh, you can try out different combinations using this uh, codes also right you can use some uh, basic color names or color codes to this html elements right some browsers will support uh, nearly 140 colors to be in this uh, background right here uh, if you are using this color code you have to use the hash that tag before the prefix of that color code right the color code will be like this here they have given a table for some uh, basic colors right for red means you have you have to give the color code as uh, 
hash ff0000 right that color name is olive right the hexadecimal value will be if it is olive the hexadecimal value will be hash 808000 right if it is for blue it is hash 0000 ff like that whatever color you need you can just use this hexadecimal value this is given in your book in page number 225 right you can just check it out and if you are doing the html code you can use these codes also and you can design the page with background colors right and the next one here they have given an example also in page number 226 you just refer it okay inside the body tag instead of giving the colors name they have given the color code right the next one is body text color this text is equal to color like that the default text color of the body section is black okay if you are giving any text it will be displayed in black color only as a default one it is often called as automatic color that black is the automatic color okay this text attribute this attribute within the body tag will be used to change this color of the text okay the tag uh, used to change the uh, text color or the uh, text in the body section will be text right body tag first you have to open and then text is equal to and then you can give the color name or you can give the color code also right like this here you can see an example right here they have given the color code right this is my browser with different colors in this uh, that page the text will be displayed in that color right f f f f 0 0 what is the color you can see the chart there in page number 225 right f f f f 0 0 is for yellow color right so the text will be displayed in yellow color okay next one is background image if you want to insert a image in the background in the last uh, uh, heading we have seen about giving a color in the background right here it is background image for that background is equal to image right a uh, image or a picture you can give it in the background of the web page when you insert a image as the background the text will be displayed on the top of the image only right the background images can be a it may be a photo or it may be a bitmap or it may have any texture also right when you insert a small image the browser will take the image and repeats it across the down to fill the browser window right if you are inserting a gif image that is a animated image means it will create an interesting look than a color right so here we are going to include a image in the background okay the file name of that particular image should be given inside this body tag right inside the body tag you will give body background is equal to and then the file name of that particular image right you can either give it inside double quotes or if you are not giving the double quotes also no issues you will get the same result only there if your image uh, file name is too long or uh, you can split it as your uh, split as two more words or along with path you should specify within the double quotes right if it is only the name you can just include the name right Well, if a image file and the html source are uh, located in different locations that means um, your html file is in drive e and your image is in drive c means you cannot take that first you have to set the file path first you have to give the drive file path and the folder's name and then the file name correctly and then only you can insert the image inside this web page right for example if a image file is in a folder uh, and it is in a e drive means you have to specify the full path within the double quotes that means you have to give body tag inside that body tag background is equal to if it is in e drive you have to give double quotes you have to open the double quotes e colon slash inside that you will have images folder means images and then again slash and then you can give the next folder name and then again slash you have to give all the folders name till you reach the file right and then at last you can give the uh, close the double quotes and that's it 
to insert a image right and the next one setting margins setting margins means uh, you will have to give the value of the margin for that you have to give margin is equal to value right the margin refers to the blank area from the left or a top or uh, from the edge of the browser window right generally there is no default margin and all in the browser screen in that settings and all if you want to leave some space as margin to the left or you want to leave some space in the top you can use this left margin or top margin right these are the attributes which will be used for uh, having the margin right the tag to specify the left and top margins are you have to give it along with the body tag only we are seeing about the attributes in the body tag right so body tag first you have to open and then left margin is equal to and then you can give the value the value means you have to give the pixel it may be a 72 uh, pixels to an inch like that uh, you can give the value inside that and then top margin means top margin is equal to and then you can give the value right when you give this value there if you are giving 50 means it that uh, particular amount of space will be left blank right left margin means in the left side top margin means in the top section right the statement that is the body left margin is equal to 50 like whatever you are giving will intend the body text 50 pixels away from the left end right if you are giving it for top margin means from top it will move your text to 50 pixels right here they have given an example uh, to create a web page html with some specifications right first you have, you have to have the title as my first web page and the text to be displayed in that is welcome to computer application and then the background color must be line the body text color must be blue and the margins from uh, left and top is one inch like that they are given you know to uh, change it right one inch means we saw there one inch is equal to 72 pixels right if you need one inch you have to give 72 pixels right so you know to write the coding for that right likewise you can give your own specifications and you can design pages right if you want you can insert any color or if you want you can insert any image or if you want you can insert your photo also in the background of that web page right the next one we are going to see is headings okay headings means this is used to include the titles to the section of a web page right this has we have six levels of headings in this um, html right we have h1 h2 h3 h4 h5 and h6 right this the number with h this will indicate the level of heading okay header tags are display um, the body text as bolder and larger in size according to its level okay the syntax of this heading tag means before and after the particular text you have to give this heading tag before and after right the opening of the heading tag is slash uh, uh, closing is slash h1 h1 means first you will open h1 and when you see this example you will understand first you will write the html head section inside that head section you will write the title and you will close it close the head section and open the body tag after that you have to give the heading tags right heading tag means h1 means you have to give the h1 inside the tag and then you can give the text which you need in h1 level right uh, and then you have to close the header tag that heading tag how will you close slash h1 right here you will have uh, got the clear idea here see h1 means that is the higher level of heading right it will uh, be big h2 will be little smaller than the h1 right h3 is some more smaller than h2 then likewise h6 is the smallest one right you can see this in page number 229 in your books right they have given the different levels of headings they are given the browser window also there if you are given h1 means you will get it like the first line it's big right if you are giving h6 means it's the last line it is so small right so these are this is the variations in this level of headings right attributes of heading tags 
align align is the attribute to set uh, you can align the text to right or center or you can justify the alignments also right left means it is the default alignment if you want the text in left you don't have to give anything right so that it is not supported in the latest versions of html and all justify alignment means it is um, this is supported in older browsers only okay the tag it's used to align the headings is h1 or h you have to give open the heading tag and then align is equal to and then the value you have to give right here the in the book they have given h hash hash is they have given the level you have you can give h1 h2 h3 whatever you need right till h6 you have the heading tags you can give any one and inside that tag itself you have to give align is equal to and then the value right the value means in heading in alignment what are the values maybe right center or justify right justify means it is a alignment which is used only for paragraphs okay the meaning of alignment means uh, it is same as you have uh, we have seen in the word and all right if you need it right you will give right if you need it left you will give left right here left is the default one so left is not there center or right right justify means you are having a paragraph you want to justify it for a page means you will give the justify okay the next one is line breaks and paragraphs line breaks means a browser application are having some special rules for displaying the text okay they will not recognize the returns or the tab or even some more space also they won't recognize if you create an html document with many lines of text the browser will display it in a single line only right so we need paragraph uh, tags or a line break tags and all right to break a line we'll have break tag for line break we have br tag right this br is an empty tag this will not have a closing tag and all and it don't have an any attribute also it should be placed at the end of the line right when you are placing br tag Uh, if you are uh, writing i am jenny and then if you are giving br tag and then i am uh, writing another line means i am jenny that much will come in one line and wherever you are giving this br tag the line will be split to next line like you have enter key in the keyboard right like that here in html you will use this br tag to get a new line right if you are having a paragraph Uh, in html we can create paragraph also right paragraph means we have paragraph p at p tag right to identify as a paragraph we will use p tag and it has a ending tag also slash p tag also right it will display as a paragraph in a browser right the browser will not recognize uh, um, the paragraph tag and all when you press the enter key for that you have to give p tag right the opening tag is uh inside the gra uh, greater than and less than symbol you will have p tag the closing is slash p right instead of pressing the enter key to identify a paragraph here we'll use this p tag right that is about paragraph tag right here in this uh, here they have given an example also in page number 231 and 232 in 231 you have the codings to give a paragraph right and in page number 232 if you see when if you give a paragraph tag how it will display that one they have given here in page number 232 just refer it right and the next one is changing the paragraph alignment we all know that there are uh, types of paragraph alignments in word processor right here in html also we have four paragraph alignments that is left right center and justify right the text which you want to type you will be typing inside the p tag and slash p tag right this is aligned to left as a default one to change the alignment of this you will have the align attribute and this one you have to use with the p tag right here the tag uh, is used to specify the alignment to this paragraph only right here you can give uh, p first you will open the uh, great that symbol greater than or less than symbol right and then you will write p and then align is equal to if you need right or if you need center or if you need uh, justify you will give that and you will close that p tag right 
you do, you left is not uh, dis, uh, enabled right why the default thing is left right if you want your paragraph to be aligned to left you don't have to give anything as a default one whatever you are typing will be aligned to left only right the keyboard shortcut to change the paragraph alignment in word you know right but that won't work here in html right and the next one is comments comments means that are uh, used to describe the page or to provide some kind of indications of the status of the page right uh, that means the tag with exclamatory mark that is used to create the comments okay uh, here in html the text whichever you type within this tag will be taken as comments only it will not be displayed in the browser or it will not be processed also it will be ignored by the browser right the comments never show up on screen the comments uh, will be placed uh, uh, you can if you are uh, teaching something to someone you are uh, giving a uh, you are teaching a html means whatever tags you are giving it will be processed and you will be getting the result in the web browser right here in this comment tag if you are using this exclamatory mark before that uh, uh, tag before any tag before whatever you are typing it won't be displayed in the web page right it is uh, like uh, when you are writing html inside the comment tag if you are writing this is the uh, header tag head this is the header tag body this is the body section likewise if you want to mention something which you no need to get it on the screen but you have to uh, show to someone who is seeing the code means you can use this comment tag okay the general form of comment tag is uh, an exclamatory mark will be there before the text right and the next one is container and empty elements okay the html element will be classified into two types container elements and empty elements okay container elements means the tags which are required with opening and closing that means it is a container elements or tags right for example if you see html um, tag will have a opening tag and a closing tag right body tag title tag p tag this and all will have opening tag and closing tag that is container elements or container tags right and if you see br tag that is break tag and all line break and all it won't have the opening tag and closing tag right this is uh, referred to as as empty tags okay the tags which which are required only opening tag means it is empty tags or empty elements right the example for that is br tag right so here they have given some uh, functions also here in page number 233 and they have given some points to remember in this html we just to make a note of it and read it before attending the next session right thank you for your valuable time stay home stay safe take care bye